Whenever you're ready. Hello and welcome back to the last regular season episode of City on the Takes Four Feathers. That's right, the regular season is dead. It's time to move on though. We've got this 2015 Stanley Cup playoffs to look forward to, and the Chicago Blackhawks are going to face off against the Nashville Predators. Now, Chicago doesn't get home ice advantage, but Nashville does, so that does mean Chicago gets home ice advantage. Now, Patrick Kane has been cleared for contact and he is probable for Game 1 of the 2015 Stanley Cup Playoffs. But instead of looking forward to the playoffs, I'm going to focus my four feathers on what happened during the regular season. I've got two and a half green feathers to give out to the Blackhawks this year from their 2014-2015 season. Now Jonathan Tay is finished with 28 goals and 38 assists for 68 points on the season. He finished ahead of Patrick Kane, who missed the last month and a half due to a broken clavicle, who had 66 points on the season. Now, Jamie Benn finished with 87 points and won the Art Ross. Clearly, that was a trophy that Patrick Kane could have won. My other green feather is going to the one and only Big 5-0, Corey Crawford. Now, Corey Crawford and Carey Price both won the Jennings Award for least amount of goals allowed by a team on this season. This is the second time that Corey Crawford had won it. The first time is the year that he won a Stanley Cup as well in 2013. Corey Crawford also finished with a .924 save percentage, which was sixth best in the league. Now here's a list of a couple notable goaltenders you might have heard of that Corey Crawford finished with a better save percentage on the year. Pekka Tuka Rask, Henrik Lundqvist, Semyon Bar Barlamov, Roberto Luongo, Jonathan Quick, Brian Elliott, Ben Bishop, Antti Niemi, Ryan Miller, and Jimmy Howard. My yellow feather this season is sort of looking forward ahead. Now the playoffs are about to become among us, and that means we are going to have very high tense octane reactions. That's right, let's cool it on those hot sport takes. I'm giving you a word of caution. Just because Corey Crawford could have a bad series doesn't mean he's a bad goaltender. The microscopic sample size of a seven game series is exactly what I just said. Microscopic. My red feather this season is going to the one and only 65, Andrew Shaw. Andrew Shaw finished dead last on the team with 67 penalty minutes on the year. Now that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that although he averaged seventh amongst all forwards on the Blackhawks and average time on us per game. He also had top power play minutes on the season and only finished with 26 points for the year. Now, combine the fact that he's getting all those minutes and the power play time with Jonathan Taze, Patrick Kane, Brendan Saad, Marion Hossa, Duncan Keith, Brent Seabrook, and that he only finished with 26 points on the season doesn't help his case. He only finished above fourth liners and other D-men for points on the season amongst all Blackhawks. My other red feather, of course, goes to Michael Roosevelt. I don't really have to tell you anything about Michael Roosevelt. He has been a complete garbage fire this season. My orange feather, my statistical oddity, is uh, hopefully a good sign. Now, in the last two seasons, the team that the Blackhawks are facing off against in the first round both came in to the playoffs with us without winning their last six games. The St. Louis Blues last year had a six game losing streak heading into the playoffs and this year the Nashville Predators had a six game losing streak heading into the playoffs. Now last year of course the Blackhawks were eliminated in a game seven overtime loss to the LA Kings who didn't make it to the playoffs last, uh, this year. So let's hope it's a sign of good things to come. That's it for the regular season and you know what that means. It's time for our playoff beards to grow. 
Unfortunately, I can't grow one because I have to keep a clean shaven face for work, but that doesn't mean you can't. I want to see all those great playoff beards throughout this postseason. Send them to our City on the Take Twitter handle or our Facebook account. Like us on Facebook and add us on or follow us on Twitter at City on the Take and myself at Jim Press Jr. Thank you again and let's go Hawks.